Hey, Jane. Hey, Julie. <clears throat> Have you been working late at the restaurant again? <sighs> yeah, I've really, really been pushing it. I have to make enough money to go to college. Oh, I want to go so bad, but I cannot go if it means getting into all this debt. Oh, Julie, you know, you really inspire me. Working so many hours at the restaurant, and then you take all these babysitting jobs. I really don't think I could do it. I'm really lucky my parents can afford to send me to college. Yes, you really are. Babysitting is really good, though, because I can do all my homework and schoolwork while I'm making money, but I make so much more getting tips at the restaurant. That's true. You know, I got an offer to babysit for the Lindys this Saturday night, but they're so cheap, they were going to pay me $4 an hour, so I turned them down. Really? Do you think they're still open? I'll take it. Really? For $4 an hour? <sighs> yeah, I really need the money right now. And on Saturday, I'll be working all day, but I'll be open that night. Could you give them a call? Yeah, I'll call them. Hey, I got an offer for a $10 an hour babysitting job next weekend, but I can't make it. Do you want it? Why are you turning down a $10 job and taking a $4 job? That's crazy. I just, I really need the money now. And I was supposed to be working for the Williamses all, that we all weekend that weekend, so I can't do it. But are you interested? I'll put in a good word for you. You bet I'm interested. I take a $10 an hour job any weekend. Thanks, Julie. No problem, Jane. I'll give them a call in a minute. And I'll call the Lindys. Jane and Julie demonstrate the concept of price elasticity of supply. Economists use price elasticity of supply to measure the responsiveness of a producer to a change in price. How quickly can a producer increase production after a price increase? How easily can a producer reduce their output if the price falls? Don't you think management would find this information useful to know about their own firm and especially that of their competition? Producers that respond quickly to a price change have a more elastic supply curve. Those producers who have difficulty responding have a more inelastic supply curve. Jane's supply curve is more inelastic because her primary job at the restaurant makes scheduling babysitting jobs more difficult, even when offered 10 bucks an hour. She is willing, but she's unable because of her job at the restaurant. At lower wages, she's willing to work because she needs the money and the opportunity fits her schedule. Jane, on the other hand, is more flexible. Jane has the luxury of being able to turn clients away at lower prices because of her family's affluence. She doesn't work another job, so she can jump at the opportunity to increase her babysitting hours when the price is higher. Jane's supply curve is more elastic because she has this flexibility. You know, factories operating at capacity are like Julie. They will not be able to easily increase production in the short run, even when offered higher prices. They also may be forced to accept lower prices to cover their fixed costs. These firms, like Julie, have inelastic supply curves. But companies with elastic supply curves have a great deal of flexibility in their production process. They're more like Jane in that they can jump on opportunities at the higher prices and turn down offers if the price is too low. To learn more about this lesson and other important economic concepts, please visit our website at higherrockeducation.com. Thank you.